it's Leah again here with Be More Learning. Um, we are on tip five, I believe it is, five. We're gonna talk about getting in the kitchen. This is a great thing to know just in general. Uh, we spent some time um, in our previous sessions talking about um, the importance of knowing how to cook. When you go to um, college or even into the workforce, it's important to know uh, how to live off of not just ramen and soda, but actually getting into the nitty gritty of um, how to traverse the scary thing that is the kitchen and get a couple of really good recipes that you'll be able to crank out no problem that you know you like. It makes it really simple. One of my favorite ones was um, I used to make tuna salad and that would last me a couple of days and it was really easy. I just made a sandwich or made a little container, took it to school with me and then that was, I had my lunch. It was super, super easy. This is a great time to be able to explore some new recipes and uh, maybe even create your own um, in this time when we are learning still, of course, going to school, but we're able to explore some other things that we could learn. Um, ask your parents what their favorite recipe uh, to make is. If you may even have it in your head what your favorite thing. My mom makes the most amazing vegetable soup in this huge cauldron-like pot. Um, so this would be a great time for you to say, hey mom, hey dad, how do you make that? Can you list out the recipe for me? Can you tell me what I'm supposed to do? I wanna write it all down or I wanna memorize it so that when I get down the road, I'm able to pull it out and I can have my favorite meal that you've ever made and I can make it all by myself. So that's a kind of a fun uh, way to do that when you have a little bit of extra time at home. Uh, bake some cookies, bake some cake, um, or just uh, make the cookie dough and eat the cookie dough all by itself. Um, all are really fun to do. I will say after the cookies and cake, I would go back to tip four, uh, which is our get moving tip. I know I've made so many, so many cookies over the last couple of weeks that I definitely need to uh, get, go back to tip number four, which is the get moving one. Um, but some really cool times to try out some baking recipes. Try your hand at cake icing, that kind of stuff. There's plenty of Instagram posts um, outlining all of that. So explore and learn. It's a, it might be even a fun hobby to be able to carry over. Who knows? Um, test out a new recipe. Uh, like I've been trying with some of that stuff in the back of the freezer that no one talks about. Everyone has those, this space in their freezer where they don't put it there, but it just ends up there and you don't exactly know what it is. And, uh, it's a good time to pull all that kind of stuff out, clean out your fridge and be able to organize it back um, or even try a couple recipes with that. Oh my gosh, I didn't know we had ground beef back here. Or, oh my gosh, I didn't know we had a whole lasagna back here. Let's go ahead and try that out if it's not expired, of course. Uh, but that's a good way to uh, get things organized there while also spending some time in the kitchen. Another fun thing, we used to do this in college, uh, my freshman year of college, um, the sororities and the fraternities uh, competed against each other to create our own mocktails. Um, and it was um, a, a cool way of pulling out all your juices and some fun things from the kitchen to create your own signature, um, what your drink would be. There's a, There was a post of, of roaming about the internet that was talking about your mock quarantini. Uh, so what would your quarantini be? Mine would probably have pineapple juice in it. I'm thinking pineapple juice and maybe something to make it blue. I think that'd be really cool. So you cre create your own uh, mocktail as a little fun uh, way to create a signature drink, oh, but also to uh, create something really fun that you'll be able to say, hey, I made that. So that's really fun. Um, there's some fun ways to just Spend some time in the kitchen, learn a new hobby. Uh, the kitchen's not going anywhere, obviously, in the in the near future, so might as well uh, conquer some of our, our fears, trepidations, or uh, just the unknown of creating our own food or our own recipes if you're wanting to experiment. Um, this is a great time to do it while we have a little extra time and we're already in learning mode. So uh, let me know what kind of recipes that you're learning, anything that you've tried out, if you've tried to create your own mocktail, I wanna learn recipes below. Uh, so let me know what you got. I'm excited to learn as well. Uh, so post below and tag us so we can see it. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.